Hello and welcome to the Stephen Tries Podcast, Series 2, Episode 35. Yay! Joined by Cameron Green. Hello all. Max Smith and Joe McGrath. Hello there. Yay! Double team. Big teeth for today. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hate you. But yeah, where's everyone else's masks? Yeah, for message, audio listeners. We can't hear you in that. Take your mask off, Joe. I've messaged... There we go. Can you hear me now? Who did you message? I can't really see, though. <laughs> so, yeah, like, I, I, message said, I said to you, Steve, I said that this will be coming out around about Halloween time. Should That's I bring a mask? Three days before. It's a bit soon. Yeah, but you yeah. might as well make most of it. It's once a year. Yeah. Can I take this off? Yes, I, d- I did say that right from the off. Take all, of it off. Zoom, yeah. all the audio listeners are going to be wondering what... Have you taken your mask on? off yet? How would, you <laughs> <laughs> How would you describe that? It's pulled would... a bit of your hair off as well. Uh, I need every bit of that. <laughs> yeah, just no! <laughs> <laughs> it's very uh, teethy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I love being on a comedy podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait for the comedy to start. <laughs> um, Joe, last time you were here, you told us a great story about yes. you and your shoulder. Mm-hmm. Any more wanking activities? No wanking activities, but something. I've got a couple Why of Why are you fiddling with your crotch? Come because, on. Um, I'm making a new story now, motherfucker. <laughs> um, I write my own path. <laughs> No other wanking activities. There's other stories I could tell about wanking, but in, in Stephen Lies today, that won't be coming up. It's the other end of the spectrum. Well, no, it's not. It's just, oh, just past, okay, okay. past the gooch. Simmer down. It's just him and his arsehole all the time. Now we know which one's true, I guess. I'm wondering what's, what the spectrum is. I, I can't visualise it. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. It'll be all good. Well, thank you for having me. Uh, Cameron, yeah, you've injured yourself. Not I again. Am, it's still the same injury. Yeah, I was injured last time. Yeah. yeah, you. What was it? Your ankle? Yeah, 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 yeah. How's that going? Um, did I? Did I? I did. I didn't bother <laughs> telling <laughs> the story. Watch another countdown. Did I? Did I? Did I? Owie. I'm thinking. Did I tell the story? Do you want me to tell the story of how it happened? It's you can do, but it involves football. It's always, it's always involves football. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, it was. I chuck on three players, not make the goal. No, no yeah. it was. It was just <laughs> stupid. Seen it. I was yeah. like one and one and a half minutes into this game, yeah. and. Um, James Ormrod was giving it all, giving it all this. The big beans. Was he? Was he? What's the other team? Giving it big beans to me, you know. I was like, right, it's okay. I'll show you the ropes here. Next thing I know, uh, I'd I'd fell off the rope. Uh, I had some guy was coming towards me, and I blocked it with my right foot. And then as I went to swivel on it, I don't know what the fuck happened. Like maybe my foot got caught in the ground. I'm pretty sure I, I went over on the top of my foot. Yeah. So it just twisted right up. Oh, it's right. And up. then I got walked off the pitch, got in my car, drove back, A and E. Uh, the bruising, fucking horrendous. And now I've got to wear like a compression sock for the next month or so. Sexy. Oh, I think my gun yeah. wears that. You've cut holes to make it look like a stocking, so I mm. think you're really rocking it here. <laughs> Can I have that in fishnet? <laughs> 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 so yeah, it's, it's, it's buggered. I can walk around when I've got proper chunky shoes on, but otherwise I'm hopping mad, baby. Mm. Yeah, nice. yeah, time, yeah. Little bunny boy. What, what, you gonna call me? what are you going to do for your rehab? Do you have like a, a strict... Strict regime. I've, I've got to like, it's sort of like doing ballet without touching the floor. I just like rotate my foot around a lot. I've got to get like a towel and put it behind my toes and yeah. pull it as hard as I can. What? Uh, yeah. And uh, it's all sorts of stuff, but you know, it's them things I, I can't really be asked. And they're mm. like, you're never going to get better. You have clean well, 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 shoulders though. still. My shoulders yeah. still buggered. <laughs> Probably because yeah. you don't do your rehab, mate. Yeah. Guys, do your rehab. Yeah, do your rehab. Can I sign yeah. your sock? You can. But I'll probably just turn it inside out then, because oh. I, I hate looking scruffy. <laughs> what is that? Sign a cast. Have you had a cast on ever? I've been in casts, so. Nice. Yeah, I like yeah. it. Actually, my arm was in a cast. Yeah. Um, Broke it. Uh, the cast fractured. of Arms yeah. the Musical. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. It's actually in, uh, it's in Cats. <laughs> 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 meow, meow. <laughs> Better than the James Corden one. <laughs> Close, though. Um, yeah, fractured my wrist, and the other one was in a sling, so oh, I was like that. Because of the, was it the bike. The, the picture. The bike yeah, story. Yeah, well done. Yeah, it's you Remember and John now. Bishop on that picture. Isn't That's it, it yeah. yeah. Oh. Great he's, time. He's in uh, Doctor Who. He's in now. Doctor Who. Yeah. Shut <laughs> up, all of you. <laughs> no, I only saw a trailer. I don't like Doctor Who like these two. Shut up. Max, an alien. Max, what have you been up to? Uh, great question, Stephen. Uh, last week, there was a 20 minute Nintendo Direct on the great game Animal Crossing. Wow. 
made a little cake for that, little coffee cake. That was fun. It wasn't little. I saw it. What? Very, yeah. very, uh, very high skill gone into that decorations, yeah, like icing. Decorations. Uh, we tried. We got one of those pots of you know, like the sprinkles. Oh, yeah. nice. Poured that on. Just the thing came off and just went everywhere. <laughs> Apart from that, yeah, it was good. Great. Uh, yeah, I love a cake. Um, apart from that, I don't really think I've done much that would interest no. anyone. <laughs> Moving on. Um, <laughs> ever had a threesome, Joe? No. No, no, no. No? no although, yeah, no, although no. what happened this week is I got uh, I, I was uh, I got bitten by a insect. Does it count as a threesome? <laughs> no. <laughs> and I was fucking right. dog. <laughs> and then, my, no, no. It's going to be spider wank this, the isn't time. it? There's like a, do- there's like a meeting with the... Op- <laughs> Everyone meets at like five o'clock in the local park. <laughs> so oh, I was on one end on. of the spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just let the dogs have a play and you chat. And then I was speaking to a guy and I got a little nibble on my arm. I turned oh, around. Oh, there's the a fair. There's an insect on it, like a straight one. Not like oh, no. oh, wow. Like, <laughs> wow. Right. Like, I don't, I've never Number seen those fruit flies, if you know what I mean. There's all those hey! la- one of those ladybirds. Hey! That's a good one. Quip of the year, just taking it back. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so it just made my arm go numb the next day and, you know. It was oh, like someone else was doing it. <laughs> Close your eyes. Yeah. Well, it's better now. Thanks for asking. But can you see it there? That was the bite. Wow. Oh. Yeah, that's um, why he's calling himself Spider Wank and making everyone else call him Peter Porker. <laughs> Look at my Spider web, wank. baby. <laughs> Spiders can wank you off. Okay. I <laughs> <laughs> don't get what Spider Wank means. That's Spider Man. He got bit by a. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, sorry. Sp- <laughs> I thought. Oh. I don't know if you you're more concerned about the logistics or the legality of the whole thing. Is, it, is the Green Goblin in, in yeah. Spider-Man? Yeah, yeah. Get Goblin this. <laughs> Just you. <laughs> Come on, take it off. Use me the Green Goblin. You're <laughs> Goblin Green. <laughs> goblin Green. Yeah. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> If a Hollywood movie would use that. <laughs> no, 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 The one floor with that. <laughs> oh, better sound effects. Um, so, sort of speaking of what you were talking about, the dogs. Um, oh, no, that's a bad transition. I was with Zoe. <laughs> oh, <laughs> poor Where girl. Where did she go? Oh, you, uh, oh, yeah. so, we, so, we went out for a meal in Liverpool and then we were driving back. And uh, it was me, her, and her sister. Mm-hmm. And they went, oh, we should uh, show Stephen the dog in place. <laughs> what sort of family is this? And uh, God. and they're on the Wirral. And they, were, and they went, oh, we, we drove into this car park. And it's like known as the dog in place. Is <laughs> we should, uh, You should see it. So she's driving down this motorway. And then just, there's like a side road. It might be a dual carriage road. Yeah. Uh, it takes a side road. It's pitch black. But you can just see this one, <laughs> one car lights at the end of the road. Oh, I'm like, no. I don't like this at all. <laughs> driving down, this car's coming up the other way. And it pulls over to the side. Uh, and it sort of lets Zoe through. Oh, so she, sh- not stupidly, mistakenly flashes no, that car. No, you don't flash. No, That's no, no. A I was, instantly, I was like, head in hands. Oh. And we drive past that car. It's an old man, grey hair. Looks seedy on Not his own. Oh. Um, so he goes, we go into the car park, loads of cars there, ridiculous amount. Oh, wow. Um, Why did you that, go in? This is what I said. Because you couldn't really turn around otherwise. A car has followed us in straight away, not the same guy, and we're stuck. We then turn oh, around, and the guy sake. who she flashed is, is come oh, after us no, as well. So I was just like, get out of there. <laughs> and she, she told me that apparently uh, they do shows there. She said, it's never been that busy though. Um, I mean, I shouldn't it tweet. I was going, but me too. How often is this like a family day out? If they, if they know, like mm, uh, more than yeah. usual. Was it a, a certain Who's day? Going? Flashing. Flashing. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it was horrifying. <laughs> I haven't it's been so frightened so like that for ages. Yeah. Oh, wow. just a lot of old men. Don't know how weird they're going to be, do you? Or That's like it, what yeah. the extremes will go to keep. Yeah, going. she said when she was there once, they started coming up to the car. It was horrible. That's... She should stop going. Yeah. Um, yeah, I had to be a protective boyfriend like that, but yeah, lay off the dog in sights. In other news, I've been doing so much. This is a lot. Yeah. Went to Formby Squirrel Reserve. Yeah. Uh, not for dogging. I saw that, yeah. For squirreling. You get your nut. Uh, hey. Not a single squirrel. Makes it's sense. not been there really? for years. I, I swear anyone who I speak to is like, no, never see the squirrels. When I went on a school trip, so we're talking, what, two years ago? No. <laughs> uh, 15 years ago, there was loads of red squirrels there. At what point do they have to take Squirrel Reserve out of their name and just use Formby yeah. Forest? Which actually has a ring to it. Maybe they've Quite just like been that. dying off. The thing is, it seems go. to be some sort of law that people think is 
rail or whatever that you can shoot and you can kill squirrels. Shoot! Because the vermin, grey squirrels are technically you vermin. Shoot! Yeah, you're allowed. So I know I've, I've heard stories of people who go to Formby and... Basically, these, just go these on, are like, relatives, aren't they? Squirrel hunts. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> we gotta <laughs> eat. <laughs> oh, we got dog in. It sounds like rednecks. Is that real yeah. stag to camp? Come on. <laughs> Which ones are the dead aggressive ones? The red or the grey? Grey kill gray. the red. Oh, yeah. that's not nice. No, they didn't, they didn't yeah. technically need the kill them. The they, they were just they were just more evolved to live in this country. They what if they met? If they met each other on a one on one, like birds and crips. They don't shag. They don't shag. They shag. They do. They don't shag. Make you, love. You don't watch the documentaries I watch. I've never seen a ready grey squirrel. Oh, do you see them all the time? You see them in Taylor Park. It, I think, well, this is it. That Parks in St. Helens have more squirrels than Formby Squirrel Reserve. Sure, you, you, you let me well. down. <laughs> in our local park, we had a bird reserve, but the guy was a paedophile and got sent down afterwards. Oh, yeah. yeah. Something in the water there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, uh, did you like to go to it? No, it was no, it exotic I went, for, birds? I went for it once. It was like, yeah, I went think it was. It. <laughs> went for it. I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> Robins, tits, oh. pigeons, doves. Robin tits. Robin tits. <laughs> That's what he used to get us to do. Um, and then he got <laughs> sent down. Fell has been Robin Innocence. Yeah. yeah. So oh, oh yeah, yeah, of course. Pretty dark. Boo. <laughs> Don't, don't clap that. No, I thought we were clapping the fact clap. he's no longer... No, he's a in slow prison. clap he's for in robbing innocents. No, 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 we're clapping that he's in prison now. I wasn't. <laughs> I was laughing at the joke that Steven said earlier. Which one? <laughs> Robin Tits. Mm, probably repeated it anyway, mate. <laughs> <laughs> in the other news, Nigel Farage is on Cameo. Uh, we all know oh, that. Oh, no, yeah, he did, yeah. did one for me. Um, he did one for you. Yeah, Chris MD sorted that. Cheers, Chris. Oh, he Very did, good. yeah. Um... But he's he's recently hit the headlines because he was uh, he was on Irish TV <laughs> and he was uh, he was talking about you know what's happened in Ireland for hundreds of years, then fighting with the British, and right. now they're going to be ruled under the EU. You know it's a bit stupid to have fought for their you know independence for yeah. all that time. And then the the presenter she just goes, um, "Who are you to talk to us about?" You know the Irish history when you did this at a cameo uh, just last week, and it's him uh, with a. <laughs> With a coffee going, he, he says the message. Then at the end, he goes, "Up the ra," and, oh, like, <laughs> and then he's it comes back to him, and he's like, "Yes, yes, I did say that." <laughs> oh, <laughs> Why no. did it for eighty-seven quid as well? She says, "That's oh, yeah, all yeah, he for got." Eighty-seven pounds. All he got. Oh, was she throws that Scottish in. She knows guy. you're allowed to do what you want for eighty-seven quid, but and then she yeah, just slapped him in the face. So ridiculous. He did. Though. He did another one that uh, uh, was on Twitter, and it's him talking about. Uh, Saying someone is a surty plug. Yeah. He's basically like a, I think he's drug, some drug dealer, I believe. Okay. Uh, in other news, a man stood in his garden has been splattered by human excrement after ah. a plane deposited its sewage <laughs> while in the air. That's <laughs> mad that they do that. <laughs> I believe it was in Windsor, which is right near Windsor Castle. Oh, God, the Queen. Near yeah. Legoland. Yeah. Aiming for the Queen? He, women hey. can fly planes too, you fucking True. scumbag. Sorry, sorry, women. Yeah. Your human excrement. Sorry, women. <laughs> Usually, they make you. Use the toilet after you've had a significant enough takeoff and all this. Mm. Yeah. So then, if you do a big shit, by the time it's hit the floor, it's basically gone into nothing. Wait, so when you out. press that buzzer, it goes for that. As he just left the plane. No, it goes, no, it goes to, to a little oh. tank. But I, then once that I, tank gets like full, yeah, I'd have got to, to release assume, it, yeah, that shit. You, so they can release it anywhere. Well, they shouldn't. Once it, should they? Should they should do it over the sea at the, the very least. Yeah. Funny thing to me is that means that the 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 big container of shit must have been full. full. Yeah, they're releasing yeah, it. So yeah. what have they been eating? <laughs> There's so many people just. It's shitting. weighing us down. <laughs> <laughs> we need to oh, get rid. One of those long off we serve Taco Bell as the in-flight meal. Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, Adele is back. Yes, hey. Adele. Uh, her new song, Easy On Me, is there to explain her divorce to her son. Mm. It's a strange thing to do. Just tell him. He's in that I think I think he knows the oh. divorce joke. <laughs> oh you would not believe where your dad's been this time. Oh, just put these headphones on. <laughs> if my parents did that, it'd be it'd just be like a rose battle between <laughs> diss tracks. It, they never Basically get a look mile. in the other the lads, do they? The blokes never come back with anything, do they? Do you know well, what I mean? They do. Do you remember Fergie? Uh, there's like 
Uh-huh. Not the one from the Black Eyed Peas. There the was, footballer. Uh, and it was. Oh no, 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 no. It was uh, Funky Andrews Right Back. Way. Do you not remember that song? No, don't. So you should it? know that. She made a song and then he sang, sang Fuck You Right Back. No, I don't know. I'll have a look into that. So they did do a comeback. I'm so expecting. Fuck all those kisses, they didn't mean Jack. Da, da, da. I remember that right line. Back. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they had a little. Uh, oh, well. Oh. Yeah. It was good. But it's a good song, though. Good song. Which one? Adele's Easy on Me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she's good. Um, she looks she's lost, she's lost good, a lot of weight, isn't really she? Good. Yeah, she's really good. Well said, Joe. Um, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you know, I aspire to be like Adele. Do you? Yeah, same, yeah. yeah. Singer, rich. Yeah, oh, oh, what you doing? Yeah, lost, lost, lost Get divorced and start going out with Skepta. <laughs> <laughs> she's, not, she's not with Skepta. Oh, uh, she is. Have what? some other guys. Some yeah, have you not listened to Tracks That would be a battle, wouldn't I don't, it? I don't, Skepta I'm versus Adele. I think Skepta would have a mate. Yeah, for years. You reckon? Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Oh. What sort of battle are we talking? A song battle. Oh, right. wrestling. Well, <laughs> I was thinking wrestling. Jay Rayner, uh, the food reviewer. Um, yeah, yeah long-haired might... guy, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Lovely guy. Never Have you met him? him? No, no, no. He went to Kebab Kid, which is around four to eight pounds, um, and took a table and chair to eat it outside Salt Bay's new restaurant. He's sort of gone for, you know, rate my takeaways approach. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Still uh, from the greats. Yeah, yeah. He described Salt Bay's famous move, yeah, the uh, yeah. the sprinkle, mm. as Rod Hull's emu, bare naked and disgracing himself, vomiting down his own neck. <laughs> 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 the, uh, <laughs> nice. He, uh, That's clever, isn't it? He said he spoke to someone who was just having a, a cigarette outside the restaurant yeah. whilst they were eating there, and he said, so how much have you, are you spending in this place? And he's like, oh, about... about Three and a half, four thousand. That is. He said. So he said. Bizarre. What'd you do? And he went. Oh, I'm just a wanker in finance. And he went. And and why are you doing it? And he went. Oh, it's just a bit of fun, isn't it? And it's just. Oh, oh just sort it out. Jesus. But yeah, uh, he did a. It's gr- it's good that someone who I thought would be you know all about Salt Bay's restaurant yeah. is sticking yeah. it to him and saying fuck off. Fuck off. Yeah. Jay Rayner. Would you him. go to his restaurant if Salt Bay invited you? Uh, do I have to pay for it? No. I imagine uh, I'd, if you've been invited. If he, I'm getting a freebie. <laughs> I would try. I would like to. Go. Hey mate, do you want to come to mine? You do have to pay for well, everything. No, no, because it changes it. Because if I'm yeah, going to I would go. You definitely would, and you'd be sat there as he slices it and yeah, sprinkles it, and you'd be, it. you'd be there just. But if I had to pay, <laughs> sprinkle in my mouth. <laughs> oh. um, moving on to just a fucking loser, Conor McGregor. Um, oh, what's he done like, now? He's in. He's in Rome. Um, and he's apparently punched a, oh, a an Italian punch DJ. People. He punched an Italian DJ. What are you doing? What are you doing? Use your words, man. In, and if I saw a video of him, um, and he's in he's in Rome, and he's he's met Johnny Depp, and he's he's saying to Johnny Depp, uh, "Do you want a whiskey?" Uh, he's like, yeah, "Let's get him a bottle of proper twelve. Get him a glass." And he's saying it all really quick because he's off his face on coke. Oh, probably. His yeah. face looks all cokey, if you know what I mean. Yeah. It's all puffy and whiskey, and uh, he looks a mess. And Johnny Depp doesn't look that. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't look like he wants to, but he also doesn't want to be punched in the face. Yeah. Oh God. Immensely. It's his own whiskey as well, isn't it? Yeah. Really? Oh, that's it's, that's crazy. Isn't it? Yeah, he walks around. It's just you know what? It's his own whiskey. He walks around with his own yeah, yeah. whiskey. He needs to. Uh, <laughs> he needs to turn it in. Proper twelve, it's called, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Proper twelve. Type There's right. talk of I don't know if it's it's been announced properly or whatever, but or Tyson Fury might have been asked whether he'd fight in an exhibition match against Conor McGregor at some stage just for a laugh. No, that can't and be that'd right. be something I would absolutely <clears throat> unequivocally pay to see. Because Deontay Wilder the other week, I don't know if you saw this, he punched a guy in a mascot suit and broke his jaw. Oh, I've seen that. His own jaw. And then no no yeah, he so this guy in a mascot it. It suit. Like American TV. Yeah. He punches him in the jaw, <laughs> breaks this mascot's jaw. The mascot's on the floor oh. and Deontay Wilder yeah, looks at him they're like fucking hard people. Yeah, exactly. stick, sticks his hands down by sides and looks at him like, you know, a kid who's done something naughty in the playground and walks off. He then says You like that? I didn't like realise that, someone was in the suit. <laughs> okay, nice one. So watching him get sparked out by Fury, that was joyous. Were you in the suit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was Just upside the, down, he cracked my ankle. On the front row of the fight. <laughs> get him! Get him! <laughs> Dressed as a tin of peas or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, washing machine. You're bloody nasty, yes! <laughs> Take it all for me! <laughs> Lancashire, la la la! <laughs> Um, yeah, I'd love to see Conor McGregor get sparked out by a time. He's not going to fight a six ideal. foot nine man, is he? He probably would. He's fought 
um, Italian saw, DJs and old men. <laughs> old men in pubs <laughs> who aren't looking at <laughs> He sparred against uh, the guy who played the mountain in Game of Thrones. Years yeah, ago that's a spar where they do it on yeah. Instagram. Realistically, yeah, well. if the guy that played the mountain wanted was up to kill him, him he, he's he fucking rough. boxing now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, so Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn. Eddie, Eddie oh, Hearn. Sorry. Not Eddie Hearn. Sorry, sorry, sorry. He's boxing against Eddie Stobart. He's dead. Lorry magnate. I well, he, can, he can't hit him then, can he? <laughs> just hit him in the coffin. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, whilst this is your last podcast, um, <laughs> anything you want to say? Um, I love manscapes. There you go. Could do with the nose one. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you. Buy one then. Yeah. <laughs> Attention listeners across the galaxy. I'm a bit sci-fi, you've lost me already. <laughs> All the way from Australia to Houston, specific. Do we have a pew problem? Insert space music here. We've got space music. Are you kidding me? Are you making are you making Max do this edit more hard than it needs to be? <laughs> Kick your pubes to the next planet with the performance package 4.0. The orbits in your pants will feel like you're in zero gravity and you can shave your anus. I came up with that, not you, yeah, Manscaped. That is good. There's levels to this. Join the two million men worldwide who trust Manscaped and get your pocket re- uh, get your rocket ready, nice for takeoff by going to manscaped.com for twenty percent off and free shipping with the code STP twenty. Got any puns yet, Cam? I'm really trying to try hard to think of some. I could feel I like it. it. I could feel yeah. it. Inside the package, you'll find their lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, weed whacker. Oh, that's the that's what does the ear. Oh, sorry. Ear and nose hair trimmer. I said it. Don't worry. Crop preserver, ball deodorant, crop reviver toner, performance boxer briefs, and a travel bag to hold your whole solar system. Wow. They mean cock and balls. <laughs> Their fourth generation trimmer also features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. The weed whacker is also waterproof, which means you take it in the shower, trim, 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 wash off your pubes. Love it. Because uh, you don't want to you don't want to shave it all and then uh, you stand up or you know you move and it's gone all over the floor. How embarrassing! Get twenty percent off and free shipping with STP twenty at manscaped dot com. That's twenty percent off and free shipping with the code STP twenty at manscaped dot com. Your dick and balls need some help. <laughs> Is that what it says there? Um, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for tidying up below my asteroid belt. Um, <laughs> something I was up to this week, uh, which I just found quirky and fun. I, something that just, it just sparked in my mind. Unlikely celebrity godparents. I thought, oh, oh, oh you know what? this could be fun. Oh, yeah. Who is uh, who is Elton John, the godparent to? I weirdly think I know. Go on, then. Is it... Um... Oh, no, that's Tony Blair's. Tony Blair. <laughs> right, no, Tony, Tony Blair's kids. Tony Blair. He, they're Tony Blair. <laughs> Tony <laughs> Blair. No, no, Tony Blair. Tony Blair. <laughs> Tony Blair one more time, John. I'm kicking you in the head. Rupert Murdoch is godfather to Tony Blair's kids. Sorry. So that's what I thought. I'm just picturing how, El- you, how are you confusing Rupert Murdoch and Elton John? Yeah. Sorry. Very old, different old people. Brit- no, he's not even British. I'm picturing Elton John ordering him to fire missiles at Iraq. <laughs> yeah, going like, exactly. I'm a rocket man. Send him, send him. <laughs> <laughs> it's my brand, Tony. It's my brand. I think, I think I've got it again. Victoria Beckham's kids. There we go. Yes. Well done. Is he? That's well done. I'd never have got that. Next up, who is Simon Pegg, uh, godparent to? Thing is, a lot of the people he's associated with are older than him. Uh, I'm going to say J.J. Abrams' kid. Yeah, because he's in Star be... Trek. Who's the guy? Is it uh, the guy who directed? Um, it's Short... Chris Martin and Gwyneth Paltrow. No, he's not a director. Really? Really? I would uh, have been more of a Steven for. Spielberg. There's two actresses. Drew Barrymore. Correct. There's one. Yeah. And who else? Um, Megan Fox. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, oh. Mm, uh, oh. Sandra O. Oh. Sandra O. Oh. What? From no, uh, it's Killing it's him? Gwyneth Paltrow. Oh no way! Really? I, I, I Gwyneth think Paltrow? Uh, I think the the parents of the kids are doing a sort of business move there, making Steven Spielberg that. Oh, get you a few roles. What's yeah. Gwyneth Paltrow been in that Steven Spielberg's directed? I, I can't know. think of anything. Brad Pitt. <laughs> Shallow Hell. <laughs> Next up, Lady Gaga. Oh. She's the godparent to whose kids? Bradley Cooper's. Does anyone John, John got a kid? Correct. Well, well he's got two done. kids. Oh, well done. Really? Is that well answer you needed? It's the correct answer. The well answer done. I needed. <laughs> the answer I deserve. Bono. Oh, oh, God, God, it could be endless. 
No, his son is is, is in a band now. But I'm Inhaler. Do, do, we, yeah, do we need yeah. Sting. Sting. niche trivia about Sting. Bono, do we? <laughs> Sting's kids. No. He does a lot He's not with... Steve Jobs, and that's why we all got free U2 oh. albums. <laughs> he does a lot for children in need, so every child in Africa. Sort of. Brad and Angelina, which well. I think is close. <laughs> um, Dolly Parton. Oh, God. Ke- Kenny Rogers. You might be able to get this one. No. Johnny Cash. Miley Cyrus. Bang on. Oh. I watched Hannah Montana. Well done, Cameron. Yes. Yeah, you won that for me. Hey. Yay! You were uh, you money, you. we money boy. <laughs> uh, let's go for this segment because it's always fun. Um, get ready for this, Cam. Max's football round. Yes. Max, last week we spoke about the Newcastle takeover. Yes. You didn't know what to make of it. Now. Steve Bruce, the Newcastle manager, has been sacked. Yes. Gone. What? Who's going to take over? Who do you think? First of all, don't do that when we talk about Newcastle and the new owners. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and For the listeners, he did a uh, behedding. So. Not? I, oh, yeah, I did. Uh, it could have been breaking the neck. Like Stevie Still, Bruce. Somehow. Stevie Bruce, what a man. Yeah. But I'm glad to see him gone. I think, <laughs> I think Bruce Stevenson is a more powerful name. It is, yeah. I'd love to see a Bruce Stevenson maybe take over the role. There we go. Thank you for Max's Football Roundup. Max's Football Round. Now it's time for another great segment. If you can tell me the look is, then I'd be quite surprised, to be honest. This one, uh, <laughs> God, what a great story. Farting passenger forces plane to make emergency landing. Big emergency theme from this week. <laughs> Three countries, so it's where it was going to, where it was going to land, where it had to land. Yeah. So uh, any of them. Ooh, Germany, America, Canada. Oh, fuck. Right. I think it was flying from India. Okay. You're just thinking of a curry, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, you exactly. are thinking of curries. I'm thinking very tactically. India, <gasps> two. Could this be the one where they let the shit out? Oh, this was only last week. It oh, could have been. Uh, India to Australia and had to land in Thailand. Wow, yeah, makes sense. We'll go from Ma- Miami to Ibiza. Yeah, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Two great I'm, countries. I'm France. <laughs> okay, uh, I guess no one got it right. Uh, it was flying from Dubai to Amsterdam and it had to land in Vienna. No, um, whatever, mate. What were the fucking odds again, that one? What we guess? No, you just had to get one of them. No, that was close. No, whatever, you didn't have to mate. get the whole thing, just one. Uh, all right, fair enough. Um, so some guys, you know, farting up a storm. Yeah, and uh, the two men sitting next to him aren't happy with this. Cause Might it's be just, so. It's just constantly stop guffing, you know. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Pay for my ticket, homeboy. Uh, so obviously <laughs> they said that at the beginning. Yeah. And the guy's like probably like no. I'm looking to get my haze on in, exactly, in Amsterdam. Yeah, yeah. You're ruining the cush vibe. You know. Player. So uh, yeah, I've been. He keeps going, and uh, they start fighting him. Oh, that's a bit much. That's a bit, you just yeah. move. He, he, yeah, could, he move. could have a problem. Why couldn't he go for a shit? Might not be that. Probably yeah. the two guys wouldn't move. From. Yeah, but you go fart in the toilet, wouldn't you? I don't know if you're constantly farting. It's true. Let's go and have a big dump. I'd, I'd speak to a, an air hostess and say, yeah. I'm so sorry. I like the way you could dress. I, could, I, <laughs> could I sit in the cockpit? Well, I actually think he was sat <laughs> over a hole, which was just sort of hovering the plane up as he was farting. <laughs> Um, <laughs> like a UFO we might have to take off for another 10 minutes <laughs> we're losing power <laughs> strap me in <laughs> do, you, do you reckon when they come, come round with the meals and like we've got the uh, the bean pie <laughs> or the mac and cheese I'll have the bean pie <laughs> the two guys next to me <laughs> you, you fucking <laughs> they start fighting him um, and there's two women sitting in the same row as well yeah it's a big row. Yeah, very big row. Um, the plane lands and the two women and the two men are kicked off. Oh. Why are the two women kicked off? Well, that's off? it, yeah. Oh, the two women are suing them. them. Batter them in Dubai. The, the two women are suing and they're saying they weren't even involved. They don't even know the two men that were kicked off. Oh, shit. They were just random people, you know, Ooh. caught up in it. God. And, uh, yeah, so they were... Wow. What a shitstorm, huh? Hey! 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 Comedy. Yeah, it really is highbrow stuff. Yeah. Um, we move on to Reliable Source. Oh. It's back. It's better than ever. It's Buffalo. Smoky. Dip in. Delicious. Yeah. Smoky. It is a bit, yeah. Well done, guys. Well done, everyone. 
Right, now the segment's over, I thought we weren't allowed to say, we only had one word. And well, he Joe, said more than well, one. I thought, Joe, we all, Joe, I thought we all done it. I thought we all done it. Joe, mm. Joe, you're walking a fine line there, a fine, reliable source line. Sorry. And yeah, Cam's a stickler for the rule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we get two week ban? I think so. No. Two week ban. Well, great sauce, though. Well, um, buffalo sauce is smoking it. Yeah, it's, right. it's like a barbecue thing. I was, it's not. It's, it's like French red hot sauce, butter. Is is butter? butter. What? You've what? got to mix a hot sauce with butter. That no, you don't. Buffalo. That's why you need a PT. No, <laughs> I need a PT. <laughs> <laughs> Let's slag off a podcast show. Yay! Yay! Finally, to the new cinema one with. <laughs> 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 One that was high up in the charts is the diary, the diary of a CEO with Stephen Bartlett. Oh, uh, he's on Dragon's you, Den. Who do you think you are, Anne Frank? Yeah, Jeez, God yeah. Shite. <laughs> She probably sold more than him. Yeah, I, I guess so. Yeah. yeah. Oh, diary, right? Do you think <laughs> what, diary? Sold <laughs> I was thinking while you said CEO, I was thinking Anne Frank sat there on a typewriter <laughs> in a loft. Like, yeah, you best keep shut the fuck up. I'm, wor- I'm working hard here, you fucking daughters. <laughs> she invented Frank's hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Does she have a typewriter? <laughs> no, no, Joe, he's doing pen a bit and of paper. improv. Oh, oh. Yeah, pen and paper. Probably. Just say like dead loud typewriters, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. She also didn't have a tambourine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you never went. Ba-ding, ba-ding, ba-ding. What tambourines have you just, played? Just, just hit him, Max, oh, just please. We're in the thumbnails of all the YouTube videos. It's always like... Yeah, oh. yeah. Enli- enlighten me. How did you become, you know, the world's foremost milkman? You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's the sort of vibe, and we're not here for it. Okay. No. I was left my grandmother and Frank's company. <laughs> grandmother, <laughs> a, a dairy I conglomerate. It, I think it was in the comedy. I think it was in the comedy really? section. Yeah, it's a joke. Get out of here! Yeah. Because because it's a joke. Yeah. <laughs> Get fucking swerved. What does CEO Jeez. stand for? Mm. Yeah. Can, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Oh. That's right, it stands for yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who gets Anne Frank's money? Why are you clapping that? Sorry. <laughs> I was just carrying th- on the clock. Do you think we're at some sort of <laughs> wide thinking convention no, 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 and you've no. nailed the question? <laughs> <laughs> Who gets Anne Frank's money? <laughs> Sorry, I'm still uh, uh, clapping from a floor. It's performance <laughs> art, isn't it? He's gone to the community theatre, <laughs> says controversial things. <laughs> <laughs> There's only two genders. <laughs> <laughs> Just there in a beret. <laughs> I pose that to you. <laughs> it was the way you, you left it open as well, as it threatening us. I've got more. <laughs> I got, I you won't stop me. <laughs> How much wood would a wood? Do we know? Um, also, he's Stephen with a V. Got no time for those people unless you. Yeah. You don't like Stephen Gerrard? He's a V. No. Now it's time for our talking points. Oh. Joe's just gone for the uh, the shop, so he can. Yeah, we can have a bloody good conversation. Yeah, I, I think there's going to be a lot more fun. Moron. Yeah. A lot more room over here as can well. We unplug his mic. <laughs> I've locked the door as well, so uh, we're safe. <laughs> Thank you. Go on, Cameron. What's in this then? How long is too long for someone you're dating to respond to your text messages? Oh! oh. I've, I've had this issue uh, back in the day. I wasn't dating them, actually. But I remember I've been speaking to someone for ages. Yeah. You know, great conversations, naturally, with me. A lot of banner. Yeah, uh, so much banner. Great, it's ridiculous. Yeah. And then uh, didn't reply for a, a day. <laughs> And we'd be replying quite quickly. And she went, uh, oh, I didn't reply for a whole day, lol. And I thought, oh, fuck off. So I just, <laughs> just never spoke to him again. <laughs> Bloody hell. Yeah. Cold. That's cold. Yeah, ice cold, motherfucker. That's ice cold. And what could have been? I had, um... Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I, had it with, uh, I had it with Annabelle early, early doors, where I didn't speak to her and she didn't speak to me for, like, a day. And then it rolled on to, like, two days. <gasps> and by the second day... I just got like proper rip roaringly pissed in my butt yard, and then was like really, really hung over the next day. <laughs> rip roaringly pissed. <laughs> I thought you meant she... upset. Another no, side. No, no, I was just, I was just like getting hammered, and then um, the oh, next wow. day I got a phone call at eight o'clock in the morning, and it was Annabelle saying, "Why didn't you? Why haven't you gone and touched me?" And I was like, "Is somebody else this?" And I looked on my phone, and it, and it was there, obviously. But I was that fucked, and I was like, "Oh God." Can we not talk about this at 12 o'clock? <laughs> I think I'm going to be sick. Wow. And it's never happened again since. 
because you know we had an open and frank and honest conversation about it turns out yeah. we're both very upset and uh, it's never happened again um oh, drats uh drats <laughs> Can you shut the door, please, Joe? I think I asked for a Fanta as well, and he's got a free Lucasade. What? I don't like Lucasade. Oh, Joe got something wrong. <laughs> you said, I, do you want a Lucasade? He says, I'll have a Lucasade. Thank you, Joe. This is the also, by the way, why don't they fill them up anymore? Also, you know what? Uh, you went and got Max something, and he didn't even thank you. He just complained. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just... He's been, that, just he's been, he's been in first-class transport and now nothing impresses him. Um, Joe, Cheers, how man. long is too long for someone you're speaking to or dating to not reply to a text? Uh, I'd say I'd say two days. Two days? I think oh, if they give the first day, they might be up for something. You know, they might be up to something, sorry. Up for the something. The second day, <laughs> you're getting a bit worried now. I'd, I'd say. So after the first day, yeah. But when they wake up the next morning... Then they should, you know, you'd like okay, to think you're yeah. in their thoughts. Yeah, that's true. Because the longer, yeah, the, that, but especially one or two days, if it goes longer than that. Yeah. It right, depends right. on context, doesn't it? It depends what you feel like you owe to someone. It what can you, show a lot about their depends character. Depends what you message them. The yeah. worst replier I know is Tom, Tom Looney. Oh, God. Uh, Why don't you look at me during, <laughs> Tom, <laughs> two, two days later? <laughs> I've been busy. <laughs> And it's, it's always something like, oh yeah, I was at work and the light bulbs went out and then like, three days ago. <laughs> yeah, fucking edge. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm so cold. <laughs> I'm an emaciated shell of a man. <laughs> now, as long as there's a, a a text before I go to sleep saying, you know, that I'm safe, then yeah. that'll, that'll do me. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm, so, I'm all right kind of text. Yeah. That's quite an easy one. Yeah, nice. Max, we didn't ask you. Oh, uh, 10 minutes try it what happens after 10 minutes white hot rage here we go Joseph thank you if you could choose one musician to perform at your wedding who would it be I'd say art anything solo band where were whatever. you going with that what was the band you were about to say I'd like Snow Patrol oh right right I thought you were going to say someone else Joe you were going to say artist weren't you yeah yeah okay. no, like, yeah. no um, Joe Patrol no. Z- Zoe's favourite band is the Arctic Monkeys great band I despise them. them what why do you fucking like him? Fucking hate them. Because she puts it on and becomes this cocky Yorkshireman <laughs> every time. It's like, wah, 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 piss off. What's it, you wouldn't want Alex Turner at your wedding? No, so true. Wrong Yeah, I'm not into uh, indie bands, really. No. I know it's your thing. It's, yeah, it's but they're good, though. What would you do if they did say they'd perform for free? Would you allow, allow it? I'd say no, thank you. Really? I want Sean Paul temperature. Oh, good <laughs> song. I've got this image of Steve sending Zoe a text saying what you're doing and two days later she's like, I'll have the Arctic monkeys on you, don't look in pies and everything. <laughs> 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 he buy gun piss off. <laughs> I, uh, I told her how she behaves when uh, when it's on. Like, if she plays it in the shower, <laughs> she'll have her hands behind her back or something. A bit like Liam Gallagher. <laughs> leaning forward and sort of shouting at the wall. And she went... I don't do that. And then she realised she does. Um, <laughs> Got some good tunes. Who I'd have all day, George Benson. Oh, sorry, so does Gary Glitter, okay? You wouldn't have him at your wedding. Well, you would. <laughs> Joe fucking would. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Getting married to him. <laughs> <laughs> Met on Joe one. Glitter. <laughs> Joe McGlitter. <laughs> <laughs> Met on one of those websites. <laughs> Exchange video. Oh, oh do you know, that's disgusting. That's wrong. Oh, that's wrong. That's the line. That's the line. That's the line. I'm trying to think about how glitter these. goes everywhere on me. <laughs> oh no! Can't get glitter off me. No. Oh, go to your festival. Stuck you on my face for a week. The next thing all I can think of is I just can't get out for about so a week. So what festivals are you going to? <laughs> we just put Nick glitter on. I just say, throw it everywhere. on me. Have you guys been to that glitter booth there? That's a portaludia. Someone sneaking out the back. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> Joe sneaking a uh, Kinder Eggs filled with glitter. His bum. <laughs> oh no, it's cracked. <laughs> it's a sparkly end of the spectrum. He's having like furry farts. He's, he's, he's having like plane. a spell. Yeah. <laughs> hit him, hit him. Look at that big gay plane. <laughs> That's Joe McGrath, that is. I love like a glittery fart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Be no, no, wait, no, not finish. Who you go for? George Benson. Oh, oh yeah, of course. George, George Benson. Benson. Phillips. You see the guy George from Benson. Love Times. Love Benson Times. Film. Love. Fifty Fifty. Right. We got love times. Love. Good times. It's all. And would he do that there. one? Oh, he'd do all the discography. I've never heard of him. It costs about. Oh God. I look for a ticket to go and see him live. 
in Liverpool and it was like 400 quid right at the back yeah, of the no. thing. It is, which is one of like the most legendary soul singers and guitarists yeah. of all time. Uh-huh. It is it, just a brilliant musician. I'd love to see him. Uh, just, and if I could get him at my wedding, that'd be the only chance I could get. So. I'd have uh, Calvin uh, Harris. Yeah. I'd just have a big, oh, he's got big bangers, rave. Though, hasn't he? He's got he's got poppy ones that people are like you know Florence yeah. and the Machine and then he's got you know just general dance song. What about if Ed Sheeran wanted to perform at your wedding for free? I'd say Ed, you know, take a plate, sit down, enjoy the meal, but uh, please do not sing. I, I'd probably let Ed have a go. <laughs> he's, a, he's, a, he's a great musician, very talented. Yeah, just don't like his music. No, well, but I'm thinking out loud. Uh, you are constantly throughout the podcast. <laughs> wow. I'd uh, love Max, glitter facts. About Weird Al Yankovic is booked. You can't get it. He's him. booked. Oh, demoed. Um, Devo, you'd have Devo. <laughs> <laughs> MC Devo. We could just we could just MC for the whole yeah. night. That'd be great. Yeah. Well, one song for 15 songs. <laughs> um, Who would you have? I don't know, mate. God, it, uh, uh, I've been listening to a lot of the Highway Men. Are we allowed to pick dead people? Like, yeah, yeah, are we allowed to yeah. bring oh, no, them back? No, it's not realistic. Because you not, you can't I, get them. Video game people. Yeah. You know, people that yeah. Oh, oh man, an orchestra. Oh, that'd be good. Love an orchestra the playing like harmonic. The, the Halo theme as I'm walking down the. Yeah, uh, Delphi the divorce. Oh, that what about Hans yours? Zimmer? If he brings his orchestra, don't want any of your hands. <laughs> <laughs> the buffet is open. <laughs> Yes, oh, I'd like some sort of, uh, uh, you know, like <laughs> someone's belly rumble, <laughs> <laughs> Mongolian throat singing. Oh Love yeah, that. Mongolian so throat, throat Mongolian throat singing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Pay final answers, mate. <laughs> Calvin Harris, Snow Patrol, George oh, Benson, Snow Patrol, George Benson, and like an orchestra, an orchestra. Oh god, here we go. This should be a fun one. Oh, if you could only eat one food item for the rest of your life, what would it be? Your mouth flap. <laughs> oh, very nutritious. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, is this something you could have oh, like fla- oh I thought you said flan flap I thought you said well, flan, flan. flan. there's too much of a difference between P and N no she's know a what baker she tastes like. like she's a master baker how do I know what my mum's flan because I've eaten a how flan how would he know what your mum's flan <laughs> tastes like some. it wasn't a soggy bottom to begin with <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Favorite food? Well, is that like a so one meal, or that's is it what I'm one getting? Food? Is it like a pizza? no for the rest of your life? Like breakfast, dinner, dessert, one meal. You have one. Th- it says food item. Shall we make Ooh, it a meal? An item is too restrictive. Oh, so I just say protein bar and yeah. die of yeah, constipation. Yeah, I love them. Yeah, but uh, could you still drink whatever you wanted? Yeah, 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 yeah. Big time. Okay, yeah. not smoothies though. Okay. What I like is uh, what I like at the moment is that I've got this firecracker rice. It's just a packet. Nice. Um, I think another one. Is yeah, it a tiddle? Yeah. Tilda. Tilda. Fucking tiddle. <laughs> you got a little for tiddle. <laughs> <laughs> you want to taste me tiddle? <laughs> me and Glitter being given him a tiddle. <laughs> me and Glitter get the tiddle. <laughs> Don't slip in the tiddle. I wish you said Uncle Ben's. Tiddle. It's not called <laughs> Uncle Ben's anymore. <laughs> Tidal. <laughs> Tilda, isn't Tilda. it? Yeah. Shut up. Fucking Tidal's the Jay Z <laughs> music. <laughs> this rice is fire. <laughs> hey. Um, so uh, we've got that, vegetables, and then a uh, vegan chicken. Nice, yeah. uh, like a stir fry. I had that last night. Did you? We don't buy meat anymore in our house. Wow. Just we've been banned from the butchers. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing with that? Uh... my pork in, hey? <laughs> oh, you just penis. made the joke, you don't have to sell it that Sorry. <laughs> Imagine Joe doing stand up. Hey! <laughs> Standing there. You better, <laughs> you better laugh or else you'll be shocked. Uh, <laughs> that makes it sound like his first joke was who gets Anne Frank's money? <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. I like ramen. Yeah. Yeah. Max. Cheers. <laughs> I think. Yeah. Coffee probably. cake. I think mine's going to be a, a roast dinner. Ooh. For, for really? Breakfast, noon, and. Yeah, I'd, oh man, yeah, I'd love it. Every single day. Dave's would be a uh, full English. Oh, I was thinking good choice, full though. English. Not if you want to live. Crimbo dessert. dinner. There we go. Crim- <laughs> don't. Christmas dinner. you got to wear a hat every meal. <laughs> That's fine. Pulling crackers. Yeah. I used to do that in the club. <laughs> 22 ounce sirloin steak, what? cooked medium, triple cooked chips. You're never playing football again. A couple of onion rings again. and peas. <laughs> dead. So hold on. That's a breakfast, lunch and dinner. Yeah. So the only veg you're getting is peas. Yeah. Right. Could Suck you skip up. lunch? Uh, maybe maybe some. you get some olive oil, a bit of salt and pepper and some broccoli. 
bake it a little bit. Yeah. Lovely that. <gasps> nice crunchy broccoli. that would do a job instead of the peas. Maybe it had the peas as well. Thing is, I, if st- I gonna... don't think I don't think that's gonna undo all of the onion rings. Yeah, that's triple a lot. cooked Look, shit. A lot chances, of meat that chances are. For ages. I'm gonna I'm steak. gonna eat like you know. My metabolism is such that I can look at a stick of celery and stick on half a stone. So there's no point in fighting her anymore. I'm not going to try and eat well just so I can come back to football to play one game every two months (laughs) and break another part of my body. I'm bulking, not sulking. I'm putting on that muscle. There's, no, no. Oh, There's a difference fight. between fighting something and having a 21 ounce steak 22, for, bre- 22, 22. for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yep. 60 ounces How of steak 60 a day. How steak? big is that? You're forgetting supper. Yeah, <laughs> How big is 22 ounces? Um, it sounds quite big. No, it's big. I've seen it's big enough ounce um, on a menu. It's big enough to have piles on day two of this new diet. <laughs> I promise you that. <laughs> you're really, you're really, I'm going gonna... to be paying through the nose for pseudo creme. <laughs> I'm going to have hemorrhoids. Like like another arse cheek. <laughs> Fucking onion three rings arse as well. cheeks. Yeah. But Camera. it's worth it because Stop it's so tasty. Beans, well, beans? Yeah, or corn like on the cob. That's not gonna help. Corn on the cobs. I'm gonna need fibre, so I'll have cornbread. Um, I'd go for mine. I like the sound of uh, a Sunday roast. That's yeah. good. Gravy. Oh yeah. Which celebrity's death affected you the most? Ooh. Ooh. I've actually got my answer to this. Go on. Um, and it was more not because I was sad because it ruined my birthday, uh, but Michael Gary Jackson. Gary Glitter. Oh no, Michael Jackson died the day before my birthday. Right, it's so. not even your birthday, then, is it? So get over it. It's my birth. No, the day. De- oh no, the Michael Jackson died. What are you doing on your night, birthday? Seeing him in concert in the night of the twenty fifth. He was planning the wedding for the next day. <laughs> Gary <laughs> Glitter couldn't right. come because he was too busy mourning. Anyway, <laughs> that's how he met Gary. Yeah, met him at the birthday. funeral. We were going to Neverland. <laughs> <laughs> The flag was down. <laughs> the flag's at half mast in the Neverland Run. <laughs> and I was at half mast. So was too. Michael. <laughs> I should him up. Do you Mance. remember when he when he died? Wasn't it? Uh, there was that Wikipedia, but for jokes, Sickopedia. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you had to, it went down. Maybe that's like, why everyone was going on. Yeah, it everyone was going on it writing jokes. Yeah, and that would that would have been on your birthday. So maybe that was why. <sighs> yeah. Maybe your birthday was reading jokes. Can that. I change mine? No, no, it's done out Cam. I've got three. Yeah. Can we have one? How then? can he get have three? I we, we've just said two? that. We just said, can we have one? Why are you kicking off? Well, right, you can well, I mean, well, can't I mean, go over on this, Cam. Okay. Well, I'll say Derek Akora then. <laughs> Honest to God. Because you oh. text me about it. He was in it. was quite a lot of deaths at the time, I think. Yeah. And he well, sort of I was, slipped under the radar. Roger Moore really upset me. Um, uh, what's his name? The, what? the mayor of fam- Adam West. He, that really upset me because I love the Batman show. They're idols of mine, but then when Derek Akora died, you texted me and was like, Derek's dead. And I was like, what? No, I, I was just watching about your sex. <laughs> <laughs> dead ting. <laughs> dead Derek dead ting. And he felt it psychically. <laughs> <laughs> he hated Sam. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? I was telling Zoe about Mary Loves Dick the other day. Mary Loves Dick. Yeah. Mary great ones. so funny. Yeah. There's, a, there's the one where he was like um, <laughs> to, um, what's it, uh, Yvette Fielding. He gets yeah. like right up in the face and he's like possessed by this sailor. And he's going like, um, you're a hussy. You're a hussy. You're a dirty hussy. And she's like, I'm not scared of you. And you can play to make sure that my behavior. <laughs> and then he starts like getting proper in the face. Like, and I thought, obviously it's not real. Yeah, but to be that that great of a showman, yeah, yeah, to just yeah, come yeah, up yeah. with what this stuff, like yeah. what an act! You can't. Like, it was unparalleled at his craft. The yeah. guy, hero of mine. I, mean, I was very, you, you very. Keep, upset. You keep going to me parking spot, you bitch. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you owe me fiver yeah. from from yeah, lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, what a line, I'll see. Mm. Don't know. I've come up with him. Uh, did you say yours? Uh, Robin Williams. That was oh, a big that one. Was a big yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, was the Family Guy episode the night before or the night off. Oh, was it? Wow. It was the one where, yeah. Oh. The one where what? Everyone turns into Robin Williams. That was weird. Is there, there's, oh, God. It's one of those episodes where, like, three stories in one, and one of oh, the stories is the, is the one where Robin Williams keeps appearing. <laughs> right, we move on to this quirky fucking segment. Stephen lies. Stephen sweet little lies. Oh, yeah, he's proper fit and gives me a wide on. Mm, amen to that. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Joe, last time you were on, you told us three stories. Yeah. One true, two lies. We got it wrong. Got it wrong. We, we got it wrong. Now we know the secret. We got it wrong. Mm-hmm. Got it wrong. 
I just didn't want it to be true. So uh, this time I'm just going to sit back and uh, let you two get on with it. Okay. All right, yeah, we can do this. I'll, I'll analyse from a distance. Take it away, Joe. I once had to sign a contract saying that I will not poo on a hotel floor again. My cousin holds the world record for reading the last Harry Potter the quickest. And I once went trick-or-treating and ended up at Emil Heskey's house. It's number one. Guaranteed to be number one. You've told us the story of number yeah, one. Yeah, it's number one. In Turkey. You've told us before. On the you podcast. Shit, yeah. No, 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 it wasn't the podcast. It was, in the, it was in the eating one. Oh, oh God, it was. Yeah, yeah, they did well. a I've got another floor. shit myself on that I can do. But now we know that's true. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> did what, what? we win? Yeah, see? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Stephen lies. Stephen sweet little lies. Oh, yeah. He's proper fit and gives me a wide on. Can't get one over on me. Yeah. Hey, high five. Oh, real high fives. Sorry about the sweat. Why am I giving one of these? Oh, no. like, oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> oh. Have one of these. Oh. Uh, now, now we move on to a new segment called Funny Chance. This one is Your Shit and You Know You Are. I should have picked that one. The it's like one a, gonna be, I once lost my Turkey. passport was having a poo. Stop talking about poo now, okay? Probably saved ourselves 10 minutes of you going, oh, shit myself, shit myself, gluten free, shit, 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 shit. <laughs> <laughs> gluten free. It's not my fault. Sorry, Joe. So I know I feel like I owe you all an apology. Well, it was about a year late. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's move on to move the on? viewer's most embarrassing moments. Oh, oh yeah. So happy you didn't have to lie about that Emil Heskey one. We've been we've been looking for uh, <laughs> we've been looking for new moments and we've got some. I've not read this one, so let's see how it goes. I was in year nine playing rugby league on the school playground. I was really trying my hardest as I knew the popular group of girls were watching us. My friend has kicked their ball high up into the air for myself and another friend to catch, and my attempt to impress the girl have leapt like a salmon, only for a seagull flying above to quite literally shit in my mouth. Oh. No oh, fucking oh. hell. Oh. What aim? <laughs> to add to that, as I've landed, I've landed on my friend's foot, consequently snapping my ankle in two places. Oh! Oh! As, if, as if it couldn't get any worse, the crotch on my trousers also ripped in that moment. Uh, so there I am, a 14-year-old lad with bird shit in my gob, <laughs> a shattered so ankle and ripped mad. trousers lying on a concrete, concrete oh. floor. Who oh, plays dude. rugby league on a concrete floor? I'm just people in the northwest. I, guess. Yeah, it's yeah. A, I once twisted my balls whilst playing rugby. Balls. <laughs> Torsion. I don't know which part of that I'd prefer. Uh, I'd snap my ankle. Rip, rip I've... pants. I'll take the rip pants. Yeah. Been there yeah, no, yeah, the rip pants. Well, yeah. There's only the seagull shit left. Have you ever been pooed on? Team. Have you ever been like seagull or a bird pooed on you? Yeah, yeah, yeah two. Oh. Uh, one was on holiday. One was uh, when I was walking to the gym. And oh, God. Yeah. I was going into school one day on an unclosed day. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. And this fucking, I, was get, I got out of the car and it was like something out of Apocalypse Now with a drop in the napalm. I could see it in <laughs> slow motion like, oh, cocky. And it's just falling in front of me and splat. So oh, I was like, no. no. Oh, on your Tommy, fi- Tommy fi- <laughs> figure insulation. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Very good. I couldn't move out the way. Because was, I was on a fucking busy main road, just had to stand there and let it just splat up me. And then turn around to me mum in the car and went, take me home. That's how she did, dutifully. And I didn't go into school that day. No? Well, I'm not going into school covered in shit. You got a day off? Well, yeah. Well, I couldn't just go home and get changed. Of days off over. Days, just all fuck off. Change uh, non-school uniform days, change your clothes. Yeah. Yeah, but then I've had go home and then come back and that would have took about a day an hour. of education man. yeah 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 you yeah, can ass. tell yeah, that's it was like one of those yeah. bank holidays yeah, I'd have just gone in sat great. there and they'd have made us watch fucking Monster House in form or something no you're alright I'm not asked. no Perks are getting covered in not, shit not cool man <laughs> <laughs> So every day after that, I'd pick another animal and squeeze it on myself. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Cover yourself in bird seed and just run around the school. I don't think they'd let you in the school for a while. <laughs> Nan's got uniform there. Can wear what I fucking want. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that uniform regulation? <laughs> Save so, it with every bit I've got from the pet shop. <laughs> Dogs chew toys underneath my arms. <laughs> after all that, I need to uh, just, you know, unwind. Unfortunately, Relax Max is in the bin. Yay. So uh, oh. we go back to an old segment. No old way. Faithful. No way. Fucking hell, I hate this segment. 
What up, cinema fam? Max here with another episode of IMAX. This week, I went to a cinema and I watched No Time to Die, the latest James Bond film. And I've wrote a little review. Okay, yeah, yeah, good. Guns, cars and beautiful women. No, I'm not talking about a camper van trip with my mother. I'm talking about the new James Bond film. No time to die. This time around, <laughs> Bond is played by Top Trend Guide's 40th most attractive male, Daniel Craig. Ooh. And wow, what a performance. Craig shares the screen with some other noteworthy actors and actresses, none of whom were They're on all the... called actors, mate, so that's just weird. I don't know why you do that. I need to bring up their, uh, um, you know, sexual orientation. Oh, that's the wrong thing. <laughs> None of whom were on the top trend guide's most attractive males, though, so I shan't be wasting any of our time talking about them. However, I shall say, their performances? Wow. Seeing I had my eyes closed to stop me looking at the vermin on camera, I mainly used my ears. The beautiful orchestrated music throughout the film sounded like a beautiful soliloquy to this tired old reviewer's ears. Who's the vermin on camera? The ugly actors and actresses. Wow, well, we've already said to not, you know, differentiate between the two. Uh, the modern movie trend to turn to hip-hop and dubstep feels like one is in a nightclub grinding on some stranger, as opposed to sat on the edge of a seat grinding onto some popcorn. And lo and behold, the movies finally join the modern age, with YouTuber Billie Eilish singing and writing the theme tune. Good. Could this mean Manchester favourites MCR could be coming to the big, big screen soon? My jollies are pleasantly shook, just thinking of the thought. The camera is artfully directed through the gorgeous sets and locales our 40th handsome male finds himself in. Truly a feast for the eyes. Apart from when the butt-ugly mingers find themselves on the screen with our tasty leading man. I must have vomited enough times throughout the screening to fill the whole cinema, cinema up with liquidated popcorn. And even that was a sight more attractive than the fucking dirty animals we saw on screen. Ew. I can't give the movie enough praise for all the scenes with Daniel and Daniel only in. <laughs> Five out of ten stars. Thank you. Any questions? Wow. <laughs> I feel like I feel like whilst IMAX has been away, <laughs> something's mm. gone on here. So you had your eyes closed pretty much for out until Daniel started, so you could hear Daniel speak. Yeah, I hear his speech. And then you'd open it. <laughs> open it, and somebody else all done and shut them so quickly. Oh, wow. How many scenes were there where it was just James? Bond? <laughs> Not many. Not many. <laughs> Not many at all. <laughs> some at the end. The, <laughs> the amount that there were, that it was enough for a five out of ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Daniel Craig, 40th most attractive man. A bit of eye candy. <laughs> wow. More than enough eye candy to fill up this pick and mix. Can I go back to the. <laughs> just about you and the popcorn? Yeah. Why are you grinding on popcorn, Max? <laughs> Well, you know, uh, it's sort of any film is a, f a feast for the senses. Mm. You've got eyes, you've got ears, but you know what? Wow, I love wow. a bit of touch. This this sounds like a just some weird excuse because no doubt somebody's walked into the cinema, seen you with your eyes closed, grinding popcorn, <laughs> salty you've one been, as well. You've been, yeah, don't make it crash, Jeff. <laughs> you've you've been doing something in that cinema and you're trying to get out of it right now you by saying. Wanking covered under Craig's voice. No, 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 no. It's more of a sort of. Yeah, it's a physical feeling. It sounds like you enjoyed the film that much. You were having a little uh, yeah, way with it. Well, my jollies were shook because of yeah. the music. You had a wank to a film and you only gave it five out of ten. Yeah. That seems harsh. That is harsh. And it's your segment. I just think that's... You okay? Get out, Joe. Don't ask me questions. Do I have to get out? Yeah. <laughs> Please do. Goodbye. Don't knock the tripod as well. You don't have oh. to ask some stupid questions, though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do I have to leave? Yeah, please he looked, do. He looked me in the eye whilst he did that as well. Right. That's a sign of aggression. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about him. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah. Don't worry about it. It's not, it's not your place to apologize. I need to realise that three people is better than four. You know, yeah. It could be. <laughs> Hello? Who's? Guten Tag. Oh, Hi. Guten Hello. Tag. Um, uh, Oh, I am. One second. <laughs> Fucking clumsy. Hands are dirty. <laughs> your hands, your yes. hands are dirty. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, your hands are dirty. I'm good at talking. My hands. Go and wash them. My hands are dirty. Go and wash them. Oh my god. Your hands are dirty. No, go and wash them. Can I read this? Go and wash them. Go and wash your hands. I am here to seek medical advice. <laughs> Joe, I will, I will just cut this until you go wash your hands. For my inwards facing Willie. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, get out and wash your hands. 
But there's so many <laughs> people in God, the God. He's got dirty hands and we don't want to no, deal with that. Get my out. Name. Get out. Hands are dirty. <laughs> don't name. say hands Your are dirty. Your hands are dirty. Oh, God. Your hands are dirty and no, it's stuck hands inside hands your body. Hands are clean. It's a different person. I know them very well. Your hands are dirty. <laughs> get out. There's no gel in here. No, get out. Go, go, go. Go, go and wash your hands. <laughs> Stop touching the furniture. You can't be near Max. Do you know how sick I am anyway? <laughs> so, I'm so sorry about that, guys. Anyway, uh, we now move on to a brand new segment oh, from wow. Cameron. Oh. Um, we had so many ideas throughout the week. Yeah, you're, you're, uh, you're one of us. My, my favourite one was Green Fingers. Each oh. Week, each week Cameron fingers something or someone. Yeah, something um, green, yeah. Unfortunately, I didn't have the mic on so we couldn't hear what I was saying, but it, it was good, wasn't it? <laughs> Uh, apart from when I had to wash my hands for yeah. a good while. At least yeah, somebody's yeah. washing so, hands. Yeah, that's why we've uh, <laughs> yeah, you're not instilled wrong. it throughout this week. Yeah, yeah. The theme. A semantic field if you do uh, GCSE English. <laughs> um, but now we've moved on to this new segment yeah, yeah. called Get the Green Light or... Yeah. I like a green party conference. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no affiliation. <laughs> uh, the Green Party, if you want to call it that. <laughs> green. No! So here it is. Cammy Whammy G tells you how it's gonna be. You can't handle the truth! Well, I didn't vote for you! Okie wow, dokie. There we go. <laughs> Okie doke. As Even I was trying to. Over a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't think that. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to come up with these ideas, and it occurs to me that I don't have any good ideas. <laughs> I only have great ones. Nice. Ooh. Okay, so I'm I'm going to give you some policies. I'm going to give you some ideas. And we're going to decide right, where the words put across. Where Anne Frank's money goes. Oh yeah, all well. right. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> you saying that the German was a Nazi? No, no. All right. Oh, we're off God. to a fly over this segment. He knows. Oh. He knows. Okay. First one. All toilet seats should be heated as standard. Uh, no. What you want about? No. No. What, what if it's a really hot day? Like, yeah, you know, recently well, you there's some to be sweating. So but how quick yeah, does it go? Off. As standard, though. You run into a toilet, you're sweating. I'm how so... quickly does it go off? I mean, you, you preach to the choir here with cold well, days. You know what I mean? It's a yeah, freezing cold, cold days. Day. But you didn't say cold days. It's as standard. Yeah, yeah as standard. Got out of a so hot you've the option. And needed a, a poo or a wee. Yeah, exactly, you got a hot yeah. seat. That's too much. You have the option yeah. though, don't you? Just yeah, but as standard means you don't get the option until you're there. It's off his fucking red light. That red light. Red light. All right, red light. That one, fine. All arguments should be drafted into nice poems and finished off by saying one nice thing. Get out. Are you fucking kidding? What? Get out, Arguments mate. are meant to be at right, the no moment. Passion, yeah, it's how yeah. you feel. No, so angry. No, no. More poetry. And the sun should be shining 24 Yeah, seven. and my bum should be on Rainbows a hot seat. constantly. Yeah. I think oh, if people in the House of Commons spoke to each other through nice poetry and said nice things, this country would be a lot care. nicer I, How many times am I at the House of Commons? Never. Look, I'm not here to put across Would've things gone. that are going to be easy to, to get by. I'm here to make real significant real. change yeah, to this yeah. country. You want, you want all arguments to be put into poetry form? Yes. This, Does it have this to rhyme? No, no you can have poems to fill in. This, this podcast would be dead in the water if that's yeah, yeah. the case. In a way, Max. Already is. Isn't, isn't everything we <laughs> say? <laughs> isn't everything we say already a form of poetry? No. So what I'm basically saying is people should be nicer to each other. No, that's, well, that, that's a different rule, and that's something we can get behind. I could. Really? Yeah, I'll be nice to you, not so yeah, I'll put this one through. I'll be less horrible to people. Well, yeah, only a bit. Okay. So I'm making real significant changes. With that, with that one, possibly. No, 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 no. Oh, it's not getting through. Any nice things oh, to say? Through, is it? Well, just saying, people should be nicer is a bit of a weak policy. Well, not really, because all this arguments is, this should is be year drafted three into poems. Shit all right, here. all right. So I've not even said free mass bars. I've not even said that you have to do it as a poem. Oh, you should just write it as a poem the first poem of all. Isn't gonna happen. Because then you have to if... think about what you want to say. More. What about this? What about this? Arguing with a foreigner. Yeah. What if you're pretty Patel? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, if she had to write poems, she'd probably think a lot more about what she's doing, wouldn't she? And she wouldn't be quite so nasty. <laughs> wow, he's got me thinking now. Perfect. Yeah, I have. What the first poem No, it's ridiculous. So you, have you ever had an argument with someone and said, oh, I wish I'd not said that? No. I really regret that. Yeah, but I wouldn't. I, wouldn't, I also know? had an argument with someone <laughs> saying, that's why you have apologies. I wish I wrote it down and put it in a poem. The apology letter could be poetry. Oh, yeah, Prevention rather nice. than cause. Not mate. a lot of rhymes with sorry, though. What if, what if you know, there's been a horrific hit and run? And I run over ah, to them. Not a great one. <laughs> <laughs> I love those. Channel 5's best. Best hit and runs. <laughs> and I I'm run over... Adam Clark. <laughs> 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 and I'm Ainsley Harriet. He was the real presenter. Yeah. Uh, I just got Brian and Clark there to run him time. over. Do you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change it up a little bit. <laughs> well, yeah. There is a, a bomb going off, right? Yeah. There's like 10 minutes. Yeah. You know, and I'm arguing with the guy about red or blue wire. 
Yeah. yeah, and we're going to fuck off and write a poem. That's so, true. Why are you well, you there? don't have an argument, you have a yeah. Why am I not there? there? Fucking hero syndrome over yeah, here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah surely, that, surely that guy would be a bomb disposal expert. No, right? it's me and Terry from down the road. Can't Can't even just Terry fuck off then. Well, you know what Terry's Can't like. Can't just get out of there? Yeah, what are they blowing up? Terry's you haven't got time to argue. blowing up the whole of the place we're in. Why Why you left to deal with this mess? If it's a Greg's, just get out. Why is he in Greg's, eh? Oh, fat shaming. What if you're not good at poetry? Yeah. <laughs> well, then you learn a new skill. True. Or if you don't want to learn that skill. What if you can't learn well, it? Well, then yeah. that's... Imagine sure. Dave writing a poem. I think he... Imagine Dave could Dave, be a new Dave, skill. Dave, Dave. Could, could be a new skill. For, are we all just... Are we all just really I am a... Plus I am we, a we, we have rubbish this idea from the get-go. I'm a man yeah. with no arms or legs. I, I like the approach of, uh, you know, being nicer, sure, but that is is, is too wishy-washy. Well, look, I, just I want like a poems, real policy. Or? I just really like poems. I like poems. There you go. This isn't, you know, pass the ball around the group and someone says something. Why don't you just make the law write poetry more? Some people. Well, that leads on to another one that Fuck I think you won't like out. either. Painting should be nationally mandated and everybody should have to paint one picture a year. No. Bollocks. That's it's fucking rubbish, shit. Man. What's it's he on about? It's very the soothing. Artists. It's very yeah. soothing. With what crayons? So is a massage. Yeah, soothing yeah, to things. you. That should be law. No, it shouldn't. <laughs> things that are soothing to you might Everyone be horrific for me. Could... Everyone should be have the opportunity to explore I, the creative. Right, how about this? I'm a, a poor woman, yeah. and I watched my father die in a painting accident. Can I just say the in a of podcast paint. have gone downhill. <laughs> <laughs> he he said your name, or your Sh- Show your old boy this. <laughs> he drowned in a vat of paint. So painting God, to me now color. is horrific and scares me. If it was we- black, at least he's good for the funeral. There you go. Yeah, but you get you get all your emotions and your angst out. By overcoming your problem, oh, it's like when you're afraid of dogs. You know, you get you don't a dog. Go out I was afraid dog. of dogs. Yeah, you get a Do dog. You, you're happy as Larry. No, I wasn't. Well, Larry, you, did Larry, you have a dog? Just... Larry was mauled. No, never. <laughs> Larry was mauled. Larry's very death. sad. <laughs> By a cat, I <laughs> uh, I think things that are soothing to one person will be a torture to another. Well, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be like a really yeah, good painting. This that. fucking green party is have, down the. You could pan. have like a big exhibition at the end of it as well. Do, do you realise at the end of this we're getting heated toilet seats hmm? that oh, people yeah. don't want? I've got one prop one then, is but that's pay to ban pay to win mechanics in games and shit. Big companies that are just trying to rinse everyone. Banner. Yeah, it's gambling. Yeah. It's Better former gambling. Well. I've started banner. taking Klarna, which means you pay later. How mad oh, is that? That's, that's unbelievable, that. If you're fighting an addiction you've got no money and you can now pay later, fuck off, Klarna. Yeah. That's a gambler. People are addicted God, to it. You've got Joe on his soapbox now. Yeah. So, uh, these kids down. are addicted to these games and it's teaching them dangerous lessons. If we want to help kids, we should microdose them drugs. So true. Is that your policy? Green Microdose. Green Microdose. Green Microdose. Green Microdose. Green Microdose kids, Drug drugs. Drug your kids. Drug kids. Microdose kids, drugs. They won't get addicted to them later like the French with wine. Thank you very much. Well done, Cam. Remember to get your policies into... What's she doing to... Your Instagram? DM yeah, you? Or... Yeah, yeah. DM us your policies on my Instagram. That'd be something. Get it into... Uh, what's your Instagram name? Instacam. Instacam, I think. Is there it'll, a be, it'll, be, it'll be underneath this video. Yeah, it will it? be. It will be. Yeah, it'll yeah, be there. Yeah. Um, send your policies in. And we'll uh, we'll make the board a better place, hopefully. Yeah, thanks, peeps. They could be uh, they could be good ones. You know, it doesn't have to be like this week's. <laughs> 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 right, Joe. This is your time to shine. Yeah, I've balls it's up twice Joe's now. Joe's woes. Joe's woes. It's Joe's, Joe's woes. woes. Had Joe's two opportunities have missed. You, didn't have look, you don't need to worry about hands are dirty. No. You weren't there for it. No, you, you'd left course. the room, you? Never was there. It's just a quirky thing to get you in and out. Here we go. Yep. I've got three Halloween ones because I thought we were all going to be dressed up at this point. <laughs> this has been the Halloween special. Wow. <laughs> Here we go. Have you we'll, not we'll noticed? Do that next week. We'll do that next week. Uh, uh, pumpkins. When you cut them, what's with all the seeds? With all the good, dirty bits. So how they reproduce? Bits. Well, then be. there'd be no more pumpkins ever because that's how they fucking reproduce. Well, what do you do with the seeds? Do you start plant them? Do you? do you plant them? Well, I don't. But pumpkin farmers do. Guys, right, right. <laughs> write a fucking poem. <laughs> Can I just say, I, uh, it, <laughs> this sounds a bit weird. But I really like the feel of it. Oh dear! Yeah. Oh, I know it's all liquidy. Like, put like, your hand there and just squeezing it. You can turn it into curry. Can you? Like, yeah, you pumpkin can curry. Turn yeah, it into yeah. curry. What we the seeds? All curries make me all pumpy. Of it. All the, the, pulp, <laughs> the pulpy side, take the seeds out, <laughs> boil it, Iceland. turn it into curry. It's quite nice. If you yeah. just boil it, it turns into curry. No, yeah, obviously you're off your red. Not. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> He says it with such conviction. <laughs> Take him away. Second one, toffee apples are done, aren't they? 
But they do chocolate apples now. Yay. The apple, do you like it though? Yes. Yeah. Do you? Just the chocolate. I actually don't. Just the chocolate. I, is I, nice. I, I, yeah. I like the toffee and I bite into the apple. And I'm so I, disappointed. I, I don't like. I don't <laughs> like toffee apples. I yeah. like chocolate apples. The novelty of the chocolate. Yeah. That's it. Can they put sprinkles on top? Oh, it's good. That, they do look nice, but as soon as you get to the apple, it's the apple shit. Apple do... then chocolate then toffee or toffee I, then chocolate. What's though? your favourite apple? Yeah. I'm a Royal Gala man. Granny, Granny Smith. Smith. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever tasted Granny Smith? <laughs> uh, You're trying to flander. He's, you? play, he's playing <laughs> chess, this guy. <laughs> You're all I'm, playing checkers. I've made that joke to him quite a few times. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird how many uh, apples there are. Pink ladies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your grandma's a pink lady. <laughs> no, no, she's not. At least one bit of her is. <laughs> hey. hey! No, no. Not the accident. Um, I'm a file. <laughs> She fell in a vat of pink found that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But the only thing that didn't get covered. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, she was wearing a chesty belt at the time. <laughs> <laughs> so one day she oh, wore a <laughs> Uh, oh, that's funny. Uh, talking about forehead. Uh, <laughs> what? Talking about a forehead. Yeah. Oh, what did you think I thought you said it went all on my forehead. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, that's disgusting. Oh, uh, <laughs> what's the next one, Joe? Oh, what? The thought of Max in sexual encounters is disgusting to you. Fuck no, you, I Joe. Max's you. mum's funny. My mum, my funny. nan. Oh, your nan's funny. <laughs> Sorry. sorry um, and the final one is we're watching some old horror films The Shining, uh, Halloween, um, Shining Star and Mine Lock. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they're all, they're all all right, but there's just, I, what annoys me, what the woes is, is that Shining's bitch. No. Um, the Shining's not a The Shining's shit. Thank you, Joe, for your woe. Thank you. Shining's amazing. Shining shit. Shit. Sorry, Have you seen yeah. Shining? Stop arguing. Have you, seen, you, you can equalise it. No, Shining's shit. I mean, no, it's good. <gasps> Thank you. No, it's game over. It's good. Game over. Okay, move on. It's the final question. Uh, this is from Aiden, who DM'd in saying, if you were on a desert island, which two from the podcast would you take with you? You'd go with me. Uh, I'll answer first. <laughs> I, read this. I would take <laughs> Thomas Looney yeah. for the following reasons. Uh, he's quite useful. You know, he's... Uh, don't have to text you when our phones. Uh, doesn't eat much. True. So yeah, if we do get food, I can uh, I can have more. He's so annoying. He's a he's a vegan. Oh, so he won't so kill you. Yeah, eat the you. plants. Yeah. Um, he's quite he's taller than me, so he can reach higher. He can climb. Yeah, that sort of thing. And I'd take. I would take Max. Um, For the complete opposite reasons. Yeah. Kill just, you. Uh, yeah. Eat you. Yeah. Just entertainment. I don't want to kill him and eat him. You need some fucking entertainment with Tom Looney on. (laughs) Jesus fucking Christ. And it'd just be a a rotation of, you know, two ganging up on one until he gets to me and I walk off into the sea, just crying. (laughs) How, uh, could I ask what the desert island, like, in your head? Epstein Island. Is it like lost? Oh, God. (laughs) (laughs) The only thing we've discerned here are fucking morals, I guess. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus Christ. (laughs) Uh, um, Can you build a raft? Can I build a raft? Yeah. I'm thinking about... I'm thinking about scouts. You've got time to... About, time to fucking <laughs> When he was 23. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to join me out. Do you want to... <laughs> Can I join in? Can you build a raft? I said yeah. sinking into the river. <laughs> Just pops a boat. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I can build a, a tent. Little thing. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a badge that says beware. <laughs> uh, okay, so it's like Lord of the Flies-esque. It's, it's a jungle mass. It's like Kinzuki's Kingdom kind of thing. You can live yeah. there. For Spiders that will be that big on the island, they probably could wank you off. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with you. <laughs> get me away you you've gone eat. there on purpose to get away from Joe um, I'll be taking Tom for your reasons no he's with me mate no no that's not his why Tom alright I'll just go by myself can you do that just go by yourself no you've got to take two people you have to take two yeah, to. Ryan, Ryan's easy going yeah yeah See, I think if you took Ryan and Dave I'm trying to think of this in a way like you know you get top trumps and it's like yeah. the survival categories you need on an island. Yeah. So you need someone who's like enterprising and will be what? constantly like doing stuff and wanting to get you off the uh, island and constantly busy. Yeah. See, I'd be shit at that. So I'd need someone who's very, you know, yeah. very that. So that'd be go. one of these two, get up and go, yeah. get up and do shit. But then... But I'm, the, I'm very annoyed. You, you'd get more annoyed at me when, me. I, when I didn't do oh, shit I'd that way. Instantly. Yes, that's why you're not coming <laughs> When you turn up and all you brought is a fucking Halloween mask. <laughs> I got four balloons with me, where have they gone? 
This is why. I think one's over there. I'm blown up by the end of the show. So I can picture if I was trying, if I was like, oh, oh like you were like, can we, oh, come on, we need to build a boat. And I was like, fucking hell, I'm smoking some <laughs> reefer. And you're, and you're like, get fuming at me like at football. Fucking Marijuana Island are you on? Yeah, Kush Island. <laughs> <laughs> and you're trying to get it off Kush, <laughs> Kush Zuki's kingdom. <laughs> and they're like, come on, Ryan and Dave, we're going, see you later. <laughs> yeah. Um. Then you, you need like the easy goingness, but that wouldn't really help you get off the island. Yeah, I'm really sucking the fun out of this, but you never what about know. You, Max? Me, uh, great question. Um, do we want that by the mic? Do we want it full stop? That's a real question. Let it go. Is How is that Halloween? They weren't mate? worth two quid these, were they? No. Dude, that's a lot I think of you money. Know the answer, Jeff. <laughs> If there was ever a metaphor for just <laughs> how we felt. <laughs> um, who will I take? Cameron? Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Paul. Um, I hope we'd have a laugh. What? Yeah, I think... I'd have to sit in the shade a lot, though. Realistically, to me, like Dr. In, my, in my head, I'm like, we're never getting off this fucking island. Because mm. we're in the middle of the... O- I don't know what ocean we're no, in. Oh, yeah. Atlantic. You know, mate, a raft isn't going to get you fucking anywhere. Yeah. yeah. That's right. You know, you get on a raft, you go... What, you get two miles out, there's a storm... It sinks. You're two miles away from land. You don't You've know not seen is. life of pie. The only thing you could realistically do is get to a really high place yeah. and stick a mirror up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That What's way, a ple- that way, someone comes past and they're like, "That shouldn't be shimmering like that." Let's go and have a look. Yeah, and then you might get saved. Do I want to take Dave? No. Do I want to take Joe, Ryan? What? No. Ryan's not bad. <laughs> you take me? No. <laughs> so I'm not going anywhere with anyone. You got your I own island. I don't know where I go with you. Know, you. Kieran, I don't know where I go with you. Fuck you. It's uh, yeah, Cameron and Stephen. Wow, that'd be all right, wouldn't it? I think we'd have a nice enough time. Yeah. We could you play volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> just, just be stood there with a big rock pounding my head in. I'd never do that to you. I think we'd never get anything done. Island. You know what? Yeah, I'm not vlogging. Be, maybe I'm pounding myself. In there. <laughs> hey, after maybe a week. We'd, we'd have some hammocks we'd be set yeah, actually, we'd want to do, you know do more shit the third, the third day of me picking up clams to my chest and going oh Cameron it's me I think the issue is I think you would get annoyed with us two talking about certain things Doctor yeah, Who, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. that's because we'd have to just talk about by, by day five I've got a list of rules of what <laughs> yeah, we can and can't yeah. do you remember that game we played 50 years ago yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. yeah yeah. we never got to that back for blood did we <laughs> soon, as, soon as he dies years. we're like right Doctor Who time <laughs> no I don't think you can survive 50 yeah. Joe, who are you taking? Oh, cool. I'm taking Cam. Man. I'm popular for this, John. And Ryan. There you go. Get fucked, Joe. God, we're, we're, we're so dead. Me, so I'm taking yeah. you. We're deader than dead. <laughs> Got Ryan. You could stick we're Ryan DOA. at the top of the mountain. Yeah, there's a forehead shine. <laughs> <laughs> Moscow, just yeah. cover it up and fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> get, a bit of, get a bit of sand and put it on his head so when it burns, it just burns out SOS. <laughs> <laughs> and he shimmers it into the night sky. In, in Houston, they're going to be like, with one of our satellites has picked something up. <laughs> Robert Pattinson sat on the plane. <laughs> That's not a signal. <laughs> That's a warning. <laughs> Get down there, Ryan. Oh, and then just a load of shit just flies out the plane. And just... <laughs> <laughs> We're safe. <laughs> um, oh, well, there we have it. Let us know who you take. Oh, no one's watching. <laughs> uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Oh, no, I've been joined by Cameron Green. Oh. Get him, Cam. You know that already, baby. Max Smith. See you later, guys. Love it. Chat. And Joe MC Graff. Thank you. Stay safe, stay humble, and goodbye.